Hello, hello, hello. Um, just having some Pepsi Max. Ah, that's better. And welcome to my James Ben One video with me, Ben Nicholson. Uh, also known as Lego Boy ABC. Um, I was watching Underworld the other day, and I thought, well, it's actually James's suggestion. Why don't you go? Well, not really. He said he wanted to want me to review it. But of course, I don't have it on VHS or DVD. I just got found it on Daily Motion. If you don't know what that is, it's like similar to YouTube, but not as big. And Tardis Media, I think his channel's called on Daily Motion. He's got every single classic Doctor Who existing episode up, and for missing episodes, he's got um, pictures with an audio over it, which is really good. So he's got tons of stuff there if you want to check it out. I've watched a lot of Doctor Who's there. Including Underworld. Now, when I watched part one, I thought... I've heard bad things about this episode. I was thinking, what's so bad about it? This is an amazing concept. And the concept really was amazing. I watched episode two. Bored. Stiff. Oh, what? Who wrote it? It was awful. And the concept was amazing. The effects were rubbish. Battle scenes were poorly done. Um, it just the complete lag. Nothing happened that made me interested. Nothing really interesting happened. They always created some peril, which was usually the little cheap looking thing going across the rail on the roof. Or a guard saying, Hey, go after them! Then running after them, then losing them again. And then they get the doctor getting steamed by unconvincing smoke effects at the end. Um it wasn't a good episode. I loved episode one. The concept is one of the most amazing concept Doctor Who's ever created. The writing was, well, bill plop. That's all it was. Bill plop. Uh, it was really not good. Uh, I I was not in, I was not enjoyed. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't enjoying it at all. I thought it was boring, lame. Not a good Tom Baker episode. Probably the worst Tom Baker episode. So it had to be quite bad because. Tom Baker's got a lot to live up to. He's one of my, he's my favourite doctor. Um, Tom Baker was okay in it. He wasn't his best. But the story. I'm going to blame this one on the BBC. Simply because... And the writers. Simply because the writing wasn't good. And the BBC gave Doctor Who a budget cut around the time. And Doctor Who hardly got any money at all. And basically they made a spaceship set. Which could have cost £100. And then... The rest of the entire episode was CGI. Well, not CGI, green screen. The entire episode was poorly done green screen, which was really disappointing. They could have used the, the Bloomin' Silurians set. The, when, I mean, look what they did for the Silurians. That cave was amazing. It looked so real. Apparently, one part of it was green screen, and I haven't even noticed. I didn't even know. I thought it was a real cave, to be honest, in some bits. It looked really real, and then a few years later, they come up with this crap. Ugh. Not a good rating. 6 out of 10. Episode 1 got an amazing 8 out of 10, but the rest of the episode just was a major letdown. Okay, that's the end of this video. I will see you on Friday for some sort of random DVD review of some sort, I think. Or will it be? Well, you'll have to watch the video. Duh. Bye. Subscribe, rate and comment and hope you enjoy James's video tomorrow as he reviews. The Curl of Dibley, the complete series one. Dun dun dun!